Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Siley Stats YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit, um, and part of that is because uh, I've been quite busy with uh, schoolwork. Um, again, just, you know, middle of the semester, just getting swamped with a bunch of stuff to do. Um, but uh, the good news is that, uh, as you can see, we have a new background, or a different background. This is the, uh, of course, background from my uh, very first couple of videos on the channel. Uh, that's because I am back home on spring break right now, so that means that I have a lot more time to make videos. So, uh, yeah, obviously this one's coming up. I might make another one at some point talking about something, uh, but that gets to the other point as to why I haven't really made uh, too many videos, and that's because... We are entering a new phase of the Science Olympiad season. Um, I've thought about before laying out, you know, how I kind of divide up the season. I might make a video on that. Excuse me. I might make a video on that sometime this week uh, about how I, like, divide up the season. Um, but, yeah, we're moving from what I call the invitational phase into the regionals phase. So yeah, a bunch of, there's not too many invitationals going on right now. There might be one or two every once in a while. Uh, we have two new ones here and then uh, Birdso, which the results more recently came out for that that we're going to be talking about. Uh, but yeah, we're moving into the regional phase and very soon we will be moving into the state phase. Uh, you can see on here, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about uh, today that isn't invitational related. Uh, we have two state competitions that I have access to the results to, so we'll look at some uh, basic bare bones results from those. Uh, I won't. I've decided that I won't be adding uh, state competitions on here or regional competitions. I won't be talking about regional results at all, uh, just to keep it fair for everyone. Um, you know, maybe there's a, a couple regions that I would want to talk about, but I just want to keep it, you know, fair for all regions, because if I talk about some, then I'm going to feel obligated to talk about others, and there's just way too many for me to do that with. Uh, state competitions, I'm going to break that rule a little bit. I'll probably talk about, uh, well, obviously I'll, I'll talk about, I might talk about all the state competitions. Um, some, of course, are going to be a little more important than others. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you uh, some some of those results uh, a little bit later in the video. But for now, let's get these uh, invitationals out of the way, shall we? So, Birdso Satellite. Uh, this, of course, happened quite a while ago, almost a month ago at this point. I'm recording this on March 9th. This happened February 10th. Um, so, a little bit of an older invitational here. Uh, nonetheless, pretty important for me to add on here. Uh, as you can see, we had some uh, quite a few competitive teams uh, attend here. Um, interestingly enough, you'll notice a little bit of a trend here. So, uh, you can see up here, we have Lexington, Jordan, Palo Alto, Lindbrook, you know, maybe some of the competitive teams you'd, um, expect at the top. Uh, but then you get, um, you know, uh, Sen, 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 Ten, Centennial. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you couldn't tell, I consider myself a little mildly dyslexic. Uh, so bear with me as I try and pronounce things. Uh, Centennial from Maryland. I think they're the Maryland state champion. Uh, I might be wrong. No? Okay, they're the Maryland state champion. All right, good. Um, Maryland, again, not really a super competitive state. 23rd, not bad, though. Um, uh, Boca Rotten from uh, Florida. Uh, yeah, uh, again, not an extremely competitive school. Uh, nationally, but um, good to see them up here. Uh, 29th, yeah, not not the best, pretty middle of the road. But you have them beating uh, Solon and Enlo and Carmel and Monta Vista, uh, and the list continues, right? I mean, all these uh, schools are, are fairly competitive, uh, except for this one, which I added just because I think they're the uh, Utah State champion. Yes. Yes, they are. Um Yes, they're the Utah State champion uh, from last year, so that's why I added them on here. As you can see, <laughs> not doing very well, um, but, uh, you know, Utah, not a very competitive state nationally. Um, but I, I think a lot of these competitive teams just brought their B team here, or their freshmen or something, um, or maybe some of them were just missing a lot of members or something like that, because, uh, you know, obviously like Lexington and, and Jordan and Palo Alto aren't going to beat uh, Solon and, and uh, Monta Vista, right? Uh, or even Lower Marion. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I think a lot of these competitive teams, uh, you can't really take these, this, um, this ranking at face value, uh, for these teams though, it's a very good result. Uh, Jordan, uh, I've moved, I moved them down, uh, quite a bit, I think after MIT, I think I had them in the top 10 at one point. Uh, I moved them down quite a bit. I moved them up ahead of Carmel. Uh, I think this is a pretty fair uh, spot for them, though. If we look at their their performance at MIT, really, uh, I mean, it wasn't, you know, terrible, uh, but it wasn't exactly where I would have expected them to place. Uh, and then when you consider uh, teams like Solon uh, didn't attend MIT, uh, Solon didn't attend, and then Marquette and Cumberland Valley really didn't do that great at MIT. Just a, a bad day, I think, for these two schools. Um, I have them ahead of Jordan right now as well. Uh, so, yeah, Jordan, uh, still a very good team. Don't get me wrong. I think they'll they'll beat out Liberal Arts and Sciences Academy for the uh, second Texas spot to Nationals. Uh, of course, Seven Lakes taking the first one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think that... Um, you know, this, this good performance at Bird. So it's certainly very good for them. Uh, I don't want to move them any higher though, because of it. Um, and yeah, Lexington, uh, yeah, a little sad for Lexington. Um, they, they did very well at this tournament. So congratulations for that. Uh, but we'll be talking about the Massachusetts, uh, state competition in, in a little bit. Uh, and we'll see what happened to Lexington there. Um, I think that's all I want to say about this one, honestly. Yeah, it's a little disappointing that I think a lot of these competitive teams uh, didn't, even Ayalani, uh, like, didn't bring their their A team here. So we can't really get a lot of data from that, unfortunately. So we're going to move on to some more recent ones. These are both occurred at the end of February, uh, fairly recently, I think two weeks ago or so, if my math checks out. Uh, let's talk about Northwestern first. Uh, Northwestern, we have quite a few competitive teams. Uh, we have Marquette and Stevenson. Um, we also have uh, Edward Clark, which is the Nevada State champion again, um, and uh, Nutrier as well. So, uh, yeah, if we look at this, uh, of course, Marquette uh, takes first here. Um, Stevenson and Nutrier and, Munz and um, uh, Madison West, by the way, which took second, um, well, actually, I don't think Madison West was was unstacked. Uh, I, I made a comment here um, that gets into Nutrier. So, so let's let's talk about Nutrier. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, yeah, Nutrier and Stevenson were unstacked here. When you super score them, uh, Stevenson beats uh, Marquette by a very decent margin. Uh, in fact, hmm, <laughs> uh, oh, that's tough. I don't know. I might group Stevenson in here with this tie between Marquette and, and Harriton. You know what? Um, okay. I, I want to talk about, I, I really, I know I said earlier, I wasn't going to talk about regional results, but I just looked at the uh, Pennsylvania Southeast regionals. I'm not going to go in depth into it, but Harriton and Lower Marion did significantly worse than they did last year uh, in their regional results. They both, uh, Harriton took first and Lower Marion took second. Um, but I think that's going to break the tie here between these two schools. Um, I, I think that uh, Harriton performing significantly worse than they did last year breaks the tie with Marquette. And Stevenson, as far as this is concerned, I mean, this super scored uh, result is is very, very good. Um, oh, I might bump Stevenson down here, I, or up, sorry, and Harriton down, and then put them in a tie with Marquette. Why do I have Marquette ahead of, of Stevenson? I'm like, I'm doubting, my, I do this a lot, but uh, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm being fair and accurate here. Uh, I think, honestly, probably because of Solon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so Stevenson was unstacked here as well. Uh, but Marquette was missing like half their team here. Um, and when you account for that, they end up doing extremely well. Uh, I might put them in a tie. I think, you know what? Sorry, Harriton. I think I'm bumping you down. We're moving Stevenson up. Harriton down. I won't quite put Harriton in a tie with CV and Enlo here. Uh, I think Harriton is still uh, better than than CV. I think they'll they'll still take the uh, Pennsylvania State Championship. Uh, but we're going to put Marquette and and Stevenson in a tie here. 
Um, you know, again, when you account for Marquette's uh, handicap at Solon, uh, they end up outperforming Stevenson. And here, uh, Stevenson super scored outperforms uh, Marquette by a decent margin. So I think we're going to put them in a tie. Um, maybe maybe I should move Stevenson ahead of Marquette. Uh, you know what? All right, just barely. I'll move Stevenson ahead of Marquette. Just barely. There we go. So you guys might think this is poor planning, but this is intentional, see? Uh, I want you to see my my decision-making when I make this these lists. Uh, I don't know why I have Syosset highlighted. I think I moved Syosset ahead of Monta Vista, maybe? Uh, for Monta Vista's performance at uh, Desert High, I want to say. We're getting way off track here. Or Golden Gate, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it probably was Golden Gate. Uh, I don't know. All right, whatever. Uh, we're going to keep it that way. I probably had my reasons. I probably said it in a video. We're getting way off track. Let's get back to Northwest. So, yeah, Nutrier, um, not not doing very well at all here. Uh, really bad day for Nutrier. And, I mean, this, I think, before this tournament, Nutrier's... Okay, they attended um, Loyola. They attended Loyola. And... And again, they end up beating Marquette Superscored here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Superscores just aren't a very reliable um, way, even if you're Superscoring two teams. Maybe this like way overestimates or underestimates or whatever. It's just so varied, I feel like, whenever you're Superscoring. Uh, but before that, it was Solon, and they didn't do very well here either. So, yeah, Nutrier... Um, it's a little tough. Again, pretty strong performance at Loyola. I don't think it's quite enough to make up for Solon and now uh, and now Northwest here. Um, so I, I think I'm, I'm keeping Nutrier here. I might even move Jordan ahead of them. I, I'll need some time to think about that. But I think for now, I've made enough uh, last-minute changes to this list. So let's, let's keep it there. Um, uh, I think that's pretty much... Oh, and another thing about Nutrier's performance... Uh, Madison West, uh, they had a second team here. Uh, they got uh, 20th, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yep, I commented here. Um, they got 20th with a score of 482. Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't super score them because I don't think they were unstacked. Uh, I only super score teams if I think they're unstacked. Um, but if you do super score them, they actually beat Nutrier's super scored score. So yeah, really just not a, a, a very good day for Nutrier here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that, I think that's the big takeaway from this tournament. Stevenson, again, uh, outperforming Marquette here. Uh, I, I moved them ahead of them for that and moved Ferriton down here. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, let's move on here. Let's talk about this last Invitational, which very well could be the last Invitational uh, I add on here. Um, again, I, I'm not going to be adding state or regional competitions on here. Uh, I think that um, uh, I, I might make another sheet for state results, maybe. Uh, the two states that we have results for, uh, I didn't really... Uh, care too much to analyze them super in depth. Maybe that, that's a mistake. Uh, I should probably take another look at that. But um, yeah, let's let's talk about Cape, uh, Case Western here. Uh, so really, our only competitive team here is Solon. Uh, Centerville's here, getting beat out by Beechwood though. Pretty decent gap too. Uh, yeah, not really a, a very good spot for Centerville there. And obviously, yeah, Solon uh, probably unstacked here. Uh, pretty decent gap there though. Um, but I, I think I've seen bigger gaps from unstacked teams. So I, I'd say Solon was probably unstacked here. When you super score them, of course, they just they blow everyone out of the water. And I actually I I um I I put I remember I had Acton Boxborough ahead of Solon, I think, in my last video. I've now put them in a tie. Uh and I think before I saw the Massachusetts uh results, I I had Solon ahead of Acton Boxborough. But then I looked at these results, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show this now. The two states we have results for are um, New Mexico and Massachusetts. Again, more results for other states might be out there, but I don't know about them. I haven't heard of them. If you do know of any results, make sure to uh, tell me in the comments or 
uh, send me a message on Discord. That would be very helpful. Um, but yeah, these are the two that I know about. So uh, you can see I have just a really basic bare bones breakdown here uh, of you know teams that were uh, decently close to um, to oh this was a pr preliminary I should say uh, Mass Act and Boxborough is you know obviously they're <laughs> uh, this this kind of gap even a, in a preliminary results uh, scenario isn't going to be bridged in in any meaningful way um, but uh, yeah Act and Boxborough definitely going to nationals. Um, Lexington, uh, not making it this year, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, these are preliminary, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, when you look at the Massachusetts State result here, Acton Boxborough just completely destroys Lexington. And the reason that is so significant is because Lexington isn't a bad team. Like, if you look at, uh, let's search here. Uh, what did I just do? Oh, okay. Whoops. There we go. Uh, if you search Lexington, um, let's type the full thing here. If you search Lexington, uh, again, pretty strong. Oh, by the way, there are some other things I want to talk about. We'll talk about one right now. Uh, UMass, I was told by Captain Snowball on Discord. Thank you, Captain Snowball, that this was Syosset's B team. Uh, so again, that might, that actually, that might be why I moved Syosset up again. Um, so yeah, sorry, Syosset, uh, if anyone from Syosset was watching and cared that I, I moved you down because uh, your B team uh, was beat out by Lexington. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, Lexington isn't a bad uh, school. They're fairly competitive. Um, again, first at Birdso Satellite, that's very significant, beating uh, a lot of these competitive teams that I'm you know sure did send their, their A team here. Um, I think they did pretty well... Um, uh, again, so yeah, here we go. Uh, at uh, I was gonna say I think they did pretty well at MIT. Let's look at Brown first. Um, Massachusetts or sorry, uh, Lexington um, got. I mean, this is still a decent gap between Syosset and Lexington. But again, Syosset is an ex ex extremely good team this year. Uh, if Massachusetts had two spots to nationals and Lexington made it, I would probably put them maybe uh, ahead of CV, probably ahead of CV, maybe even ahead of Harriton, honestly. Um, because I mean, yeah, they're, they're a fantastic team. Um, Harvard undergrad again, Acton Boxborough beats them. Um, and no other competitive teams to compare to there. Uh, Montgomery again, 20 point gap here. It's a, still a very significant gap, but, uh, not nearly as, as wide as you would expect from, you know, a team that doesn't miss, that doesn't make nationals. Uh, and MIT. Yeah. I mean, 10th at MIT, that's actually really good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, beating Jordan, beating uh, Stevenson, uh, Clements, um, Enloe, uh, and then, of course, Marquette and CV here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Lexington is no, uh, you know, don't don't sleep on Lexington is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Acton Boxborough just completely blew them out of the water here. I mean, I don't even know. In, in a competitive state, uh, that is to say a state that, you know, the, the top team doesn't just automatically make it to, to nationals. Like Lexington is giving Boxborough some good competition here. I don't think I've seen a, a team score this low in any competitive state uh, in my, you know, all of, of three months doing this, right? Uh, I'm not the most experienced with this. Uh, I don't have a knowledge of, of history like some other people. Um, but yeah, I mean, this just seems ridiculous to me. I'm not sure how frequently this happens. I know I've looked at some uh, Massachusetts results before, and I don't think any of them have really been even close to this much of a gap. Uh, so yeah, Acton Boxborough, just absolutely fantastic performance there. Uh, let's talk about New Mexico real quick. New Mexico, again, not really a, um, uh, actually not at all a competitive state. Um, Albuquerque Academy was the state champion last year, and they are the state champion this year. Uh, just barely, though, uh, this um, so. Socorro, Socorro High School, uh, almost beating them. Five points is, is a very, very small gap. Uh, I would say it's just an insignificant gap even. Like, I mean, if, if you know, things just went a little bit better for the Socorro team, uh, they, they could have actually beaten Albuquerque here. Um, but yeah, they're going back to nationals. I don't expect them to do too well. I don't think we have any history of them 
uh, on the um, on the uh, the sheet here. Uh, let me just check real quick. Maybe just Albuquerque. No, nope. all right. So uh, yeah, no no history for this team. Unfortunately, we don't really know how competitive they are. Considering they didn't do that great last year, I don't really expect them to do that great this year. But congratulations, you made it back to nationals. Uh, that's that's really all that matters, right? Um, yeah. So those are really, I think, all the invitationals that I want to talk about. Um, I talked about these things. Uh, we'll take. I'm, I'm organized now. I don't want to forget anything because last time I forgot to mention this last time, and that was a big, big mistake. Uh, but on my part, um, that I I didn't mention this, so I'm really sorry about that. But the soup results I showed you last time were preliminary. I just checked Duos Meum about 30 minutes ago. They had soup results on there, so I've added those onto here. I've replaced the results that I had. Uh, the exact same ranking. Uh, none of the rankings that I showed were anything different that's on Duosmium. You can check uh, you know, my video and check Duosmium if you don't believe me for some reason. Um, the only major thing that changed was Heriton's super score. Uh, I super scored them again with the Duosmium results, and their super score actually uh, increased. It went from 185 to 194. That's almost a 10 point increase in your super score. Uh, and CV's score stayed roughly the same. I forget what it, what I had it before. Um, I will say this gap uh, narrowed up between uh, Enlo and CV. Uh, again, a, a insignificant gap. That's why I have them tied here. Um, but uh, where was I? Here we go. Um, but yeah, that was the only major change that I noticed. So again, I'm sorry for not mentioning that last time. The suit, the soup results that I showed you were preliminary. Uh, and so now they, they, to the best of my knowledge, they're official. They're on Duos Meme. You can check them out for yourselves uh, if you want to see full results. Uh, I mentioned this to mass with Syosset's B team. Again, sorry for that oversight. And I should also say this. So there were, um, there's a, a tournament that I uh, did not add on here. Uh, Plymouth Clayton um, was a tournament that happens, uh, I think, Actually, it wasn't even recent. I think it was like February 10th, I think, uh, that it happened, early February. Um, and I, I didn't add it on here because, uh, well, for two reasons. One, uh, there weren't any competitive teams there. Um, I don't want to say the teams that attended didn't matter, but for the purposes of our rankings, uh, you know, none of it wasn't really going to affect my rankings at all. Um, next, uh, the Massachusetts state competition already happened. Uh, so we already know the results from Massachusetts, and from the looks of things, uh, this was mostly Massachusetts teams attending. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't add those on here because at this point they're irrelevant, uh, and um, I, I just uh, uh, they wouldn't have affected my my rankings at all. Um, so yeah, if you want to check those out, I'll, I think I'll actually um, well, they're not on Duosmium yet. But they are on Duos Meum's Discord server, which you can join uh, if you just go on the Duos Meum site. So if you want to see the preliminary results for yourself, you can join the, their Discord server uh, and, and look at those if you want. Um, but I, I will not uh, add them on here, and they will not factor into any of my rankings. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I want to give you guys a little heads up of where the channel's headed here in the next... A month or two, uh, and some plans that I have. So, um, yeah, as I said, I don't really expect too many more invitationals to happen. We are out of the invitational season. We're honestly probably well into the regional season at this point, uh, the regional portion of the season. Uh, and again, I'm not going to be talking in depth, at least. I know I mentioned the Pennsylvania Southeastern regionals momentarily here, uh, but I'm not going to be talking in depth about any, um, any uh, regional competition. Uh, I won't be adding them on here. I won't even be making another thing for them because there's just too many. Um, state competitions, I will mention uh, if I have the results from a state, even like Wyoming or whatever, North Dakota or states that aren't very competitive, I'll still mention them. I'll still say, all right, this team won and then these teams were close to winning. Um, I won't go in depth into any state analysis unless it is a uh, state state that has uh, competitive teams in it. So competitive teams that, you know, I'm including on here. So like 
Pennsylvania. I'll probably talk about their state results. Um, well, first of all, because I'm from Pennsylvania, and uh, that's what I want to do, and this is my channel, so uh, I get to do what I want. <laughs> um, and uh, also, Pennsylvania, of course, is a very competitive state nationally, and the results from Pennsylvania, if Lower Marion can uh, beat Cumberland Valley, or if somehow Harriton doesn't make it to nationals, that's pretty big news uh, in terms of my ranking. So I'll definitely be talking about that. Um, I think Ohio is probably another state that I'll talk about. Maybe New York. Actually, probably New York, because uh, this second place team from New York's a little uncertain, so that could be interesting. Probably talk about Illinois as well. Uh, I might talk... Oh, I'll probably also talk about New Jersey with Montgomery and West Winster. Uh, that's going to be a, a pretty big battle, I think. Um, and of course, I'll probably talk about the California state results as well. And there might be some other Texas maybe as well. Uh, if Liberal Arts and Sciences Academy can beat uh, Jordan, that would be pretty big news in my book. Um, yeah, so I, th I think that's all I want to talk about. Uh, just, uh, just know that, you know, you might not see another video from me in a while. It all depends when state results come out. Uh, and also I have some, some plans coming up. So, uh, I, I was asked on discord at least once, um, about, uh, you know, uh, going to the national competition and that is my plan. I do plan on doing something similar to what I did at, for Solon, uh, you know, going to the national competition, maybe doing some interviews, probably doing some interviews, um, if teams are up for it. Uh, and, and, you know, just doing a vlog at the, the national competition. I'll give my reaction to the award ceremony like I did for, uh, Solon. I'll probably ask permission this time. That's pro that's something I should have done for Solon. The Solon trip was a little last minute. I didn't have time to email the tournament director and say, Hey, is this okay? Uh, if I, you know, uh, record portions of your, um, your award ceremony, uh, and, and upload them to YouTube as I react to them. Um, I didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, I'll probably do that for the national tournament, and I might also do something similar for the Pennsylvania State Tournament. Uh, again, part I, I don't want to seem biased here uh, towards Pennsylvania. I mean, I'm going to be biased towards Pennsylvania because, like I said, I live here, um, and, and I'm a Cumberland Valley alumni. Uh, but I, I do think that the Pennsylvania State Tournament is going to be uh, – I should go over here. Uh, that the Pennsylvania State Tournament is going to be a um, important state tournament to watch. Uh, so I might, uh, again, ask permission to live stream the award ceremony and then give my reaction as that happens. Um, again, if the state director says no or whatever, then I won't do it. Uh, but just be aware, that might be something that I do. Uh, and again, I fully intend on, uh, intend on attending the national competition. All right. I think that's officially everything I want to say. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that is. Bye.